paravalvular leak, or PVL, is a frequent complication of transcatheter to aortic valve replacement, or TAVR, and is seen at a much higher rate after TAVR than after conventional surgical aortic valve replacement. Recent reports indicate that PVL is associated with increased late mortality, not a good thing. Now in Jack, there is a literature review of PVL which consolidates current knowledge in this area to better understand the prevalence, progression, and impact of post-TABR PVL, and to help direct future efforts regarding the assessment, prevention, and of course treatment of this more than troublesome complication. I recommend you read the review. It is well written and comprehensive, but here's a summary. After surgical valve replacement, moderate to severe residual AR occurs rarely in only about 4% of patients. But importantly, AR after surgery is an independent predictor of long-term mortality with a hazard ratio of 1.7. For TAVR, a number of studies have identified a leak of more than 2 plus to be an independent predictor of short and long-term mortality as well. Furthermore, patients with significant leak are 10 times more likely to have died or still be in severe heart failure at one year. PVL grade more than 2 plus seems not to be associated with early 30-day mortality, but becomes apparent later. Multivariate analysis shows a hazard ratio of almost 4 for patients with PVL more than 2 plus for mortality beyond 30 days. It may be that even mild PVL may be associated with increased mortality, but that association can be debated. The review points out that given the limitations of the current literature, the nature and strength of the relationship between an amount of PVL and mortality are still to be determined. It needs further research. Future studies should standardize the evaluation of PVL and ensure an appropriate classification of its severity. But here's the important point. New generation valves are coming and these new systems must be designed to minimize PVL. Emerging technology may help us in this quest Imagine non-invasive debulking of the aortic valve before we do TAVR. That would bring transcatheter valve replacement closer to what the surgeons do and promise us lower rates of PVL. I'm Peter Block, and this is a CardiSource Heart Minute.